Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Addington News. Brian Thompson, CEO here at Addington Raceway. Countdown to cup number for you. Oh, I'm number 12. Number 12, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, we're inside six weeks now, and, and when you start to see all of the infrastructure being put into place, the the, the adrenaline starts to kick in, doesn't it, yeah, really? It gets, re- it gets real when those marquees start going up. So we've got the double pavilion from Continental going up for the owners, and a few hospitality. You can see in the background, good old Smarts Mound that houses about a thousand people, and a centre track one with uh, Monte Carlo and the private marquees. You, you mentioned the... Um the owners and the members you've got, you've got some stuff coming up for the members that's pretty important including the AGM yeah yeah the AGM that's on the yep. 16th of October um, so it's good to be able to communicate to the members and have them ask questions and just let them know what's happening around the footprint and at Addington uh, a couple of things we've changed is definitely the access for members and owners on the day so we've given them their own line so basically they ended up through the main area this time just to the I think to the right if you're looking into Addington there's an owners and members entrance there so they'll just access that I think from 10.30 if time's correct. Yep and we will do a full walk around leading into the cup that'll come out on the Monday uh, before the Tuesday so that people will be able to actually see where to go so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, they've, they've got the same areas we've got the um, owners marquee for them access to Christian Cullen and access to um, silks and the seating bowl. Yeah, well, tickets wise, sales going well? Yeah, they're going pretty much as track, or I suppose, similar to last year. Um, what we want to make people sure of is that if they want to come along, buy a ticket before the day. Yeah. So, you know, to guarantee you can get access to it, you have to buy a ticket online. All right. Some of the horses that are about to step out, and this week is an exceptional week. In fact, Michael Guerin saying he, he reckons it's the best harness race meeting of the year, and maybe even the best in about the last five years. Part of that is because IRT have put on a plane. I think there were 16 yep. standard breeds yeah. that have come down for this Friday night's meeting. Yep. So the Victoria Cup's on this weekend. There's yep. some interest there with the likes of Captain Ravishing, mm-hmm. uh, Spirit of St. Louis going around. So it's really oh. starting to build momentum around our feature race, the IRT. Yeah. New Zealand Cup. Yeah, to have 38 horses still in the rankings is amazing, and having you know possibility of four Australians, you know, pick the twang there. And as I say, <laughs> only takes one to win. Yeah, absolutely, it does. And of course, we've got that great clash this week: Muscle Mountain Bolt for Brilliant, uh, going back to to head to head, five all in their ten races they've been in so far. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's really starting to shape up. And Air Park Canterbury are in behind the Flying Stakes this week. Graham Harrison, yep. the team out there, they've had some tough years out there, Brian. Have, you know, COVID have. hurt. Yep. Companies like his, yep. but he's stuck solid with Addington. Oh, it's great 100%. to have him with a Group One race. Yep. Yeah, he's a good guy, and they, and they do a great support for Addington. Um, and yeah, and it's good to see them getting a bit more business coming as people start travelling and feel a bit more secure. This game needs a future. What about Sarah O'Reilly, yeah. four-time national champion now, emulating what Morris McKendry did back in the uh, in the 70s. So I guess from a club's point of view, I'd like to congratulate uh, the, yeah. one of the O'Reilly's, the youngest one that's still out there on the track. To be honest, that's an amazing result and well deserved. Yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, this week, the smoker. Is oh, it yeah. back? Yep, yeah, graham has got the smoker cranked up, the old Chunky's Corner, so um, come through for a smoked beef or a bit of panhead to enjoy the sunshine that's definitely going to be here on Friday. All right, stick around for a bit more of a preview of the races. Uh, we'll have some pretty important information to help you back a winner. Welcome to the preview time now for what is a massive night. It's the NZB Harness Millions Night. Three of those races, stunning fields for them. But we've also got the favourite for the IRT New Zealand Cup in Akuta, uh, taking on the likes of Self Assured and Krug. Uh, it's a deep race that. And of course, the battle resumes between two star trotters. Bolt for Brilliance and Muscle Mountain. Ten starts collectively, five each at the moment. Muscle Mountain with an additional run this time in. Yeah, it's going to be a cracking night of racing. You want some winners, though? I think we can get off to a reasonable start. Uh, race number two, like one on the each way here, the Merc. It's the first of the NZB standard bred uh, harness million races. Caleb Bublitz and his family race this horse. First up run, excellent. Brad Williamson takes the drive. It's a two-year-old trot. You're getting about $18. Favourite is Paramount Kiwi. It's probably the one to beat, but I do think the Merc does have an each way chance in it. Best bet of the night for me comes up in race three. Here's Herbie, number seven. Uh, luckless last time, first two runs back this time in, both for third. Excellent, including one uh, behind Who's Delight and Franco Indy. So I really like Here's Herbie. 
race three, number seven. Moving on uh, to the two-year-old final for 200000 I think it's Lee Major's race to lose. Trade by Anna Donnelly, Ben Butcher doing the driving. Nice barrier draw, should go forward. Try and stay in front of Vesem and chase a dream, and that might be the winning of the race. So that's race five, number four. Uh, we mentioned Akuta, probably a winner. He's pretty short, $1.45, but most will have their multis running through him. Coastal Babes, hardest to beat in the NZB Phillies section. They race for 150000 race seven, number seven. Uh, on to the, the big clash, the group one. It's the Air Park Canterbury Flying Stakes. Tough race. Merlin inside second row. Schools of thought. Sooner the better leads all the way. Merlin gets the passing lane. Sooner the better leads. Merlin pops off the trail, comes around, takes the lead. Either way... Puts Merlin in a winning position with Don't Stop Dreaming wide on the second row. He's going to have to work again. Last time that happened was in the two-year-old version of the Harness Million, and uh, Merlin was able to get the job done. So I think he can do it again. Race eight, number 10. Nothing between Bolt for Brilliance and Muscle Mountain in race nine. And I think Point Break will win the 11th, the Gold Band Taxis. Going to be a great night at Addington Raceway. Uh, we've been taking the cup on tour as well. The team took it out to Meffin. You've got a couple more chances to... Uh, not only get your hands on the cup and get a photo, but win some tickets to the great race day. Uh, it is going to Magic Monday at Ashburton on Labor Day Monday. So you can head out there or to Kaikoura for their iconic meeting uh, on the 30th. So the 23rd at Ashburton and the 30th. And we're giving away some tickets to IRT New Zealand Cup Day there as well. So much ahead uh, on Friday night. Can't wait to be a part of it. We'll see you trackside. Uh, thanks for watching Addington News.